Hi, how are you? And welcome to the sixth episode of In Search of the Ultimate Bullet. In this episode, we'll meet up with Itai and check out his Pinion Bullet. Itai is a kind of bullet collectioneur. Apart from the Pinion Bullet, Itai also owns an extra light build bullet. For that bullet, we have made an extra episode that we will publish next week. So there will be eight videos in total and not seven, as I mentioned in the introduction video of this series. Hi Itai. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How okay, are you? Okay, fine, thank you. Uh, can you uh, tell us a bit more about yourself? <clears throat> yeah, I'm um, 35 years old. I, uh, I'm a cabinet maker, furniture builder. This is a shop. Um, so yeah, I make furniture. Um, in my free time, I like bikes. We, uh, yeah, I like to customize bikes, ride bikes. I'd love to have as many bikes as possible. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, that's me. How and when was the first time you uh, learned about the existence of bullet bikes? Um, so I used to work in an office and um, we would use couriers um, on a daily basis. And um, in Belgium, most couriers use their van or car and it takes a long time. Um, but our office needed sometimes things to be brought uh, just a couple of kilometers further. And um, I looked online and I found uh, somebody who did it by bike. So, uh, and he could do it in an hour, which other companies could do in 24 hours. So um, I called him, he came to pick it up and he had this very shiny um, orange bullet with an uh, with, um, aluminum box, it looks very nice. And usually all the bikes we knew that were cargo bikes were for children, had a lot of wheels. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was very interesting. That's the first time I learned about uh, this, the fast cargo bike, yeah. Yeah, okay. And when did you decide to, do, to buy one for yourself? And that was um, five years later, five, six years later. Um, we live in the city. We, ha we had two cars. Um, we have some dogs also, and every time we need to go somewhere to walk in the park or something, we had to take our car. And it's, uh, it was expensive, took long, there's no parking, and we decided, uh, let's get rid of one car and uh, buy a bullet instead. So, um, is the bullet your daily ride, or do you still mix it with the car? Or? Mm -hmm. So, um, let's say 95% of the time I try to take the bike. Mm -hmm. um, but as I'm a furniture builder, usually furniture is very big and heavy. Sometimes it's mostly kitchens or, or built-in closets. It's impossible to do efficiently on a bike. So um, in that case, I take the car. Yeah, so it's more for private use and yeah. leisure use than for your company. No, what I do is um, I, the first two days I will take the car, bring the tools, the furniture, and then um, if we're installing for one or two weeks and it's not uh, hours away, you just take the car, uh, you take your bike, mm -hmm. put some tools in it, go yeah. to the client, and it's the yeah. fastest, easiest way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Itai, is this your, your first bullet you've bought? Well, no, this is, my, this is the third bullet. Okay. So, um, first we bought um, an electrified bullet um, without knowing too much about the bike. I bought it, used it for a couple of uh, months, and uh, I really liked the bike. And I thought, I like riding a bike. I also want one without an electric motor. So, I want to use it as a regular bike. So I bought um, a regular analog bullet. <clears throat> then after a while, I, uh, I learned about this type of bullet and um, I really wanted one of these. So I sold the other electric bullet and I bought this one. Yeah, so yeah, but this is a pinion. This is a special one. Yes. We'll take a closer look uh, a bit later. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, really not mainstream. It is no. not, no. no. Do you ever use your bullet to go on longer trips or have you ever taken it uh, on a vacation? Mm -hmm. um, I have not yet. The longest trip we have made was, um, let's say, two hours. And it was in the first um, COVID lockdown where you were not allowed to um, 
travel by car very far in Belgium, so we decided to go um, uh, visit my parents, um, which lived 50 kilometers further, so we took, that's the furthest we went. But in the future, I would like to try. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, have, we have two bullets in our household, so we can yeah. take a lot of okay. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what's the largest or most heavy cargo you ever transported with your uh, bullet bike? Um, I think I've overloaded it a couple of times already because um, the, the rule is um, 100 kilograms with a driver. So, I think probably close to 150 kilos. Um, my van broke down, it had all my tools in it, so the van was in the garage and I, had to, I needed my tools. So I didn't want to go too many times, so in two times I managed to, to get everything home. Mm. And yeah, the tools were about this high. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it was still handling okay? It or? drove very well. It's actually, I, I noticed that the bullet drives um, more comfortable and better when it's uh, heavily loaded. Yeah. You have to watch out for steering a little bit, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it worked very well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Itai, when money was no object, mm -hmm. uh, how would your ultimate bullet be built? Mm -hmm. um, that's a, a good question, because for me, this is, a, this is my ultimate bullet now. Um, and uh, I don't think I would change a lot about it, so I'm, I'm very happy with it and um, for me there is nothing um, above it right now that, that I would rather have bike-wise, bullet-wise. I think I would want more, more bikes, more cargo bikes, but bullet-wise this is I think where, it's, where it ends for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Itai, uh, let's have a closer look uh, at uh, this bullet bike. Okay. Um, maybe we can start in the front mm -hmm. and then move backwards and look at all the uh, accessories and parts you've put on the bike. Mm -hmm. um, explain a little bit uh, about the parts mm -hmm. and also the reason why you okay. uh, have chosen for that particular yes. All right. uh, piece. Okay, so let's uh, start in the front. Okay, so um, in the front we already have um, the, the, you can see the big uh, brakes. Mm -hmm. So these are um, brakes from uh, the Hope company. I think they're from Ireland. Uh -huh. um, apart from looking fancy, um, they have four pistons mm -hmm. instead of the regular two. Um, mainly the decision for this is if you're riding with a very heavy load, you want to be able to stop very controlled. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want issues with this. They are also, the diameter is 200 millimeters instead of uh, 180 mm -hmm. in the front. We also have the Hope. Um, um, yeah, enough, who's it? Yeah, the Hope um, hub, hub, the front yeah. hub. The front hub, yeah. Um, so this was a complete custom bike um, and I wanted to have the, the, best, um, the best possible uh, components that, um, that money could buy at that moment. Yeah. So um, further, we have the front headlight. It's from Supernova. Mm -hmm. Um, it has a, a high beam and a low beam, mm -hmm. so uh, it's, it's, it literally turns night into day um, when it's dark outside, so uh, it's, it's also for safety and to be seen. Um, mm -hmm. People really see you coming and uh, they go out of the way, so that's, uh, yeah. in a city, it's, it's something you really want. Yeah, it's important. Okay. Other than that, here on top we have um, a Visco set, it's something that... Um, uh, not a lot of people have, mm -hmm. um, so this, it's, it actually dampens your steering. Mm -hmm. The bullet has a, an, a known issue, um, the, the wheel wobble in front, yeah. so if you go a little bit faster or you have a, so it's, it's very unexplainable. Sometimes mm -hmm. you, your bullet is empty, sometimes it's loaded and it starts shaking, it's very unsafe. So bullet, uh, Larry versus Harry, they sell a damper set, mm. but it's, it's um, very heavy. Yeah. A complicated set. I've seen it on several yeah. uh, other bullets. Um, I had it on my other bikes and it, it, it breaks very easily and uh, it's just not such a good system. So I knew there was such a thing as a Visco set. It's actually a headset with um, a damping inside, mm -hmm. but it did not fit the bullet. Okay. So um, 
I had a custom uh, cap machine uh, to be able to fit the Visco set. Mm -hmm. You can adjust the damping and it, it works great. It's super light, it weigh, only weighs 80 grams and it does a great job. Yeah. Looks clean yeah. and uh, never has any yeah. issues. And you can put it stronger or lighter yes, you can depending it. on the load it's and the way you want to drive it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a very simple system. It are um, a couple of plates with grease inside and mm -hmm. If you take plates out, it has lighter steering. If you put more plates in, it has heavier steering. Yeah. It actually works like, I mean, it really works like a Swiss clock almost. <laughs> okay. Very good system. Okay. Then uh, further we have um, the, um, the load bed. Uh -huh. It's um, from um, a friend uh, who also is in the bullet community in Germany. His mm -hmm. name is Eric. Mm -hmm. He has a company called Velution. Mm -hmm and he makes accessories for the bullet. So this is a very light, uh, good looking um, load bed. Yeah. From him, um, no frills. Mm -hmm. The same is for the back plate is also from Eric. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, it has, um, you can fix uh, Ortlip bags on it. Mm -hmm. Water resistant, uh, very clean, light. Yeah. Looks great. Um, yeah, moving up, uh -huh. we have, um, I think, the Ergon grips mm -hmm. that very many people have, the Hope brakes um, in red for some yeah. reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, the quad lock mount for the phone, which I also I think many people have. It's the only good mount that there exists at the moment. Yeah. Thompson Elite um, steering, flat bar. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The shifting happens on a pinion bullet just by twisting the, the, the handle lever. Yeah. You change the adjustment for the assistance here. Yeah. Okay, then, so yeah, it, it's, it's yeah. a pinion, so yeah, that's, uh, mm. I think, the most special. Yes, uh, yes, yes. We'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also okay. we have the, the spur cycle bell, very, very yeah. clean and, and loud. Yeah. And then um, yeah, we said it already. So this is a pinion bullet. Mm -hmm. um, and this is what the pinion is. It actually, your gearing happens in the, f in the um, bottom bracket instead of in the rear. Mm -hmm. And it's also belt drive. It's a belt drive, yes. Yeah. So the motor in this case is in the, in the back wheel. Mm -hmm. And um, the battery? And the battery is uh, under the bike. Ah, yeah. Okay. So there's a box yeah. where the battery sits in. Uh -huh. It can be locked. Uh, you can open it to take the battery out. Okay. So it's out of the way. Yeah. And um, the weight of the battery is also on the lowest point of the bike, so it's, yeah, it should it, handle better. It's very stable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and what kind of, of um, motor is in the, in the wheel? So this is, um, is a German motor, I'm thinking about the name. So I think it's somewhere on the motor. Yeah, and otherwise we'll look it up afterwards and we'll, we'll put it with yeah. the information. Exactly. <laughs> the bike is dirty because it's been used. Yeah, I think we've... Something here. Oh, ah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's a Neo Drive motor. Neo Drive. Yeah. yeah. It's a German company. Okay. Um, everything is assembled in Germany, so it's very high quality. Mm -hmm. um, it's a rear hub motor. It drives very differently than um, than a, a front uh, or or center motor. Mm -hmm. um, you have the power all to always directly in your wheel, so it's very direct. Uh, it's it's more of a sporty ride. Ah, yeah. And then because the motor is in the back um, and the gears are in the front, the gears are never under load. So you, you, you really don't bother the gears. You can, um, you can shift under full load always. You do not have to stop pedaling. Oh. It's actually a very, very good system for a cargo bike. Yeah. Okay. Other and than that, here we again have the, the Hope brakes. Mm -hmm. A little smaller diameter is the smallest, is the biggest diameter that fits in the rear. Okay. Um, we have the, uh, yeah, the little light, is, I mounted it here. Mm -hmm. um, it is by Busch & Müller. Mm -hmm. We have the braided braking cables. Um, yeah. Another 
good thing about the pinion bullet is that um, they really open up your rear uh, wheel stay. Mm -hmm. So you can fit very wide wheels, wide wheels very wide yeah. tires in yeah. it. Yeah, so yeah, these are really mm -hmm. wide. I think this is the, the, the widest tire I ever seen yes. uh, yeah, on, yeah, a, yeah. on a bullet bike. I think you can fit even wider, but it has no use. Uh -huh. um, so I think this is a 2.5 uh, rear wheel, a rear tire, mm -hmm. and a regular bullet maximum is a two inch. Yeah. So and it it gives you a more comfortable ride. Yes, you you can you can have less pressure in your tires. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a lot. Yeah, you can put you can you can ride softer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, it has also the benefit of looking good, but it's just yeah. not for everybody. No. So um, it's one of the most asked questions in the forums from bullets is. Uh, What's the widest tire that I can put on a, on on a, a bullet, bullet bike? So yeah. On this bullet, you can fit very wide tires. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then up here we have um, a oh, seat by Brooks, mm -hmm. the C17 mm -hmm. Cambium. It's um, waterproof, very comfortable. Okay. And, and then we have the King Shock. Um, lowering system for the seat mm -hmm. so yeah. my uh, girlfriend she rides a bike also sometimes so she, mm -hmm. she doesn't need keys or, or yeah. tools you to change it. it's very easy to change, change it very the, rapidly the yeah. yeah okay um, so is it also a kind of suspension no. or it's only to adjust the height it's only it's only for adjustment yeah, yeah. Um, okay yes then um it's a custom bicycle so mm -hmm. I, I, when I asked them when they were building it, I wanted it to look as clean as possible. Mm -hmm. So they also removed all the, the cable um, mounting points that were not necessary. So if oh, you, yeah. maybe if you yeah. look at this side, it's just all yeah. very, very clean. It's, it's all been taken away. Yeah. What you don't need is not there. Okay. Um, other than that. And the paint job, it's a special color? Yeah, so, yeah. so with this company, you can, uh, you can really choose the sky is the limit. You can choose whatever color you want. Mm -hmm. um, I chose um, this color. Mm -hmm. It's cement, cement gray. It's called, and uh, I, I they uh, put a, a matte lacquer on it, mm -hmm. so it looks kind of stealthy. Um, I really like how it came out. Yeah. Um, other than that, you have the um, adjustable. Um, yeah, feet, foot, feet or, from yeah. yeah you, so it's a metal stand instead of aluminum, mm -hmm. and you can adjust the feet because with the fat tires, um, you your feet don't reach the ground. Okay, yeah, it's a, it, it's a bit higher. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this way you can uh, make it a little higher, and it's also a lot more stable for yeah. loading your bike. Yeah, and uh, I've seen here also there was a thing that yours also. Uh, has told me that he changed the connection mm -hmm. to the inner hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, a, a kind of a, a funny thing. Uh, there's also a Facebook group yeah. called the Inner Hole Tribe. tribe. Yeah, <laughs> he told me. <laughs> so apparently, if you um, connect it to the inner hole instead of the outer hole, mm -hmm. your steering becomes more direct. Uh -huh. You have a less of a, of a swing arm, actually. Yeah. And um, the other benefit is that your steering rod is more inside. No, it's, it's not yeah, sticking out so much. It stays almost mm -hmm. all completely underneath. Yes, the so bike you frame. don't yeah. so you don't hit anything. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's also just a fun thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's a conversation starter. Yeah. <laughs> also, it has um, other fenders. Mm -hmm. So, because you have wider tires, you also need wider fenders mm -hmm. to cover it. Yeah. This is by a Belgian company. I have no idea what the name is. Uh -huh. <laughs> but they're also very clean. Now yeah. they're very dirty, actually. But yeah. um, <laughs> I think I know it's it's. Um, but I, I, the name escaped me. Um, they also have like the fenders with the lights inside. No, that's lizard skin. Ah, uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a Belgian company. Yeah. Um, but they only work B two B, I think. Correct. Eh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the, this uh, German company who builds the bike, they only supply their uh, bikes with these fenders. Okay. Just very nice, clean yeah. form. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think the logo is here. It's dirty, you can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll look it up and yeah. I'll put it uh, in yeah. underneath the, the video in the mm -hmm. information. So there's probably very many things that we're forgetting. Yeah, and like the, the cranks and the, and the pedal? So they're all by pinion. The pedals are um, just, um, what are they called? They're stamp ones from which company? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just you on, on the cargo bike, you want a very grippy pedal yeah. because when they're wet, you slide off mm -hmm. oftenly. Yeah. Um, the cranks are by pinion itself. Yeah. The, the gates drive, everything is, um, is yeah, it's made by pinion. This is by gates. Yeah. And um, the rear thing is also by, um, by gates. Yeah. Looks very nice. It has, it's it's yeah. very clean. Very system. clean. Yeah. Almost as, both as large. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you ever use your bike with clipless pedals? Some bulleteers do eh? they, it. Some have double pedals that mm. like like yeah. uh, clipless on one side and mm. flat pedal on the other mm -hmm. side. And some some others they they change them mm -hmm. the pedals. No, I don't. I mm. I, I, I used to be a BMX rider, mm -hmm. so I um I love the feel of a very grippy flat pedal. pedal. Yeah. Um, I, I don't like the idea that my foot is attached to my bike and I cannot <laughs> okay. be able to jump off or bail if yeah. somebody hits me or... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.